White numbers and orange trim. Their bench off to our right, the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and the home whites. Blue numbers and red trim and their bench off to our left as always here at Laurel Highlands High School tonight. Should be a good one, the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and the Greater Latrobe Wildcats. We're back with the opening tip-off right after this here on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. Attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt at Watson Mundorf LLP wish the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and all of our local teams the best of luck this year. Watson Mundorf is a premier regional law firm whose experience and expertise empower it to not only be an advocate for its clients, but also provide them with exceptional service to exceed expectations. With offices in Uniontown and Connorsville, they are local and here to serve you. Call 724 626-8882 for attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Stop by Big Al's Market and Six Pack Shop on North Gallatin Avenue in Uniontown. Family owned and operated by Phil Lucioni and Dominic Sabatini, Big Al's features two one-topping pizzas and a two-liter for $21.99. Or try an Italian hoagie and a 20-ounce drink for $6.99. Check out some of Big Al's other homemade food items, including pasta salads, macaroni salads, and deli items. Big Al's Market and Six Pack Shop. 72 North Gallatin Avenue. Phone 724-550-4250. UCMC Centers for Rehab Services on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, brains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. Are your dentures cracked, loose, broken, or missing a tooth? Or maybe it's time for a new set of dentures. Call the office of Dr. Jonathan Krisner and Dr. Jennifer Haar at 600 Cherry Tree Lane in Uniontown. Thanks to their in-office denture lab, they can make your new dentures faster than other offices and in most cases same day denture repairs they also offer teeth whitening clear braces and single visit crowns call for your appointment 724-438-0241 or visit their facebook page going on now at chevy east get a new 2023 chevy equinox for only 99 dollars per month stop in for a test drive or visit seaharborchevyeast.com chevrolet Find new roads. Lease is through GMF Financial for well-qualified individuals. 24 months at 10,000 miles per year. With 6,500 cash rate equity with GMLE's royalty or lease conquest. Plus tax, title fees, and for payments. Sale ends January 31st, 2023. While supplies last. Call dealer for all of the details at 724-668-2231. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m., Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Bad County Recorder of Deeds, John Marietta, would like to wish the best of luck to the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, the Uniontown Red Raiders, and all of our local teams this year. He would also like to recognize all of the talented student athletes who showcase their efforts either on the field or on the sidelines as members of the cheerleading squad or band during game time and halftime performances. Again, this message brought to you by Fayette County Recorder of Deeds, John Marietta, wishing everyone the best of luck this year. This message has been paid for by HBJ Radio. Just about set to go here at Laurel Highlands High School, Laurel Highlands Mustangs and the Greater Latrobe Wildcats. Brian Morosak alongside Tony Hanula tonight. Our buddy Steve Super checking in on the live stream. Steve should be back with us in another week or so, we hope. Billy Dice behind the camera in our Facebook Live video feed. Nick Barczyk back inside our WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital Studios. Appreciate you tuning in tonight for high school basketball here on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network, and Facebook Live. Again, the starters for the Mustangs, Keandre DeShields, Rodney Gallagher, Mason Bullish, Blaze Krisner, and Patrick Cavanaugh. Antoine Black out still in concussion protocol. Mustangs hope to have him back soon. Max Butler, Landon Butler, John Wetzel, Jatuan Williams and Alex Tatch on the Greater Latrobe set. Now on the Latrobe Wildcats being introduced. As we said, Butler, Landon Butler, the key to this team. As we said, a thousand point scorer. His brother Max, not a bad player either, Tony, only a sophomore, but averaging over 10 points a game. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, but I'm sure that, uh, like I said, they're going to try to get the ball to land in as much as they can. But I also saw an article, too, where Coach Wetzel wanted to try to be as balanced, a little bit more balanced than last year. What's, I'm sorry, uh, Landon Butler came in averaging 20 last year, but only down to 17 this year. So spreading it around a little bit, and you can see it is pretty balanced based on the scoring averages that we see here tonight. They'll generally use Tyler Mondock off the bench along with Berdarius Davis and Jack Dorinovich. So pretty much an eight-player rotation on the Wildcats side. Yeah, and that's it. I mean, if you can go deep, and like we said, we saw Unitown do that the other night. I mean, really, Robbie has an extremely deep bench, and he was able to use a lot of them and really frustrate the Mustangs. One with a lot of fouls and just being uh, aggressive when they're not tired during the game. Hello to Ferris George and Don Mankin watching on our live stream as well as we get set to go. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs and the Greater Latrobe Wildcats tonight. And again, you look at Greater Latrobe's overall record, you think five and eight might be an easy night for Laurel Highlands, but being a 5A opponent, just looking at the schedule that Greater Latrobe has played so far this season, they're not going to be a pushover by any means. I don't think so at all. I think we're going to see another tight game here tonight. And, you know, the Mustangs, they're going to need to shoot a little better than they did the other night and really been struggling from the outside. But uh, we'll see what they can do here tonight. As you said, Latrobe used to play in some big teams, and uh, they'll be ready for the Mustangs. Also have to send get well wishes out to Laurel Highlands assistant coach D'Air Jenkins not here tonight. Mustangs hope to have D'Air back on the bench next week as well. It seems like the flu bug's kind of been getting everybody here, Tony, over the last week or two. Especially all the basketball coaches. Yes. D.R. Jenkins, Billy Dice. I mean, they're getting them all here. Yes. So. You have in the center circle Landon Butler to jump for Greater Latrobe as Tony Carter steps in. Keandre jumping for the Mustangs. And Keandre tapping it back to Rodney Gallagher and underway. Laurel Highlands working left to right as we describe it as Rod brings it across. Fronted there by Landon Butler. Barks out of play. Works out to his right. Switches back up top with Prisoner. Now off to Mason Bolos. You found out in that Tuesday game with Uniontown. And now away from the ball. Offensive foul called there on Blaze Prisoner. Yeah, they're going to call Prisoner on the moving screen. Latrobe came out playing man-to-man -man defense, and Krisner trying to set the pick for Gallagher, but got called for his first foul. Landon Butler working it in to John Wetzel. Again, Wetzel was the football quarterback, and now directing traffic here on the basketball team from the far elbow. A little pivot. Wetzel stays with it, bounces it off to his right to Williams, who's double team. Had it poked away, regains back to Wetzel again, high on the right. Sends it off to his left to Max Butler. Again, two Butlers out there. Max number two and Landon Butler number four. Landon's on it now. A little ball fake. Will come inside. Double team comes over. Landon, the heady player, stays with it from the foul line. Posts up and sends it back to his brother Max. And now back edge of the zone to John Wetzel. And Greater Latrobe very deliberate on their opening offensive possession of the game. Touch from Tatch, back off to his right again to Landon Butler. Look inside, good feed, and up over the shoulder and in for the sophomore Max Butler to give Greater Latrobe an early 2-0 lead. Great entry pass right there to find the cutting Max Butler for the easy layup. It was a pretty well drawn up half-court set there for Greater Latrobe, and Keandre getting caught there on the hit by Alex Tash. So Tash will pick up the first Greater Latrobe foul of the night. And both teams coming out. Playing man-to-man. -man. Bullish to trigger it in here for the Mustangs. Mason sends it into the backcourt to Rodney Gallagher. Gallagher now 1,678 career points. Again, Nick Bosnick holding the all-time Laurel Highlands record at 1,936. Off to Krisner from the foul line. A little ball fake back to Bullish. Bullish looking for operating room. Keandre setting the screen. Now they'll try to go into Keandre. That one gets intercepted there by Tash. Touched by Williams off and across to Max Butler. Butler holds on the wing, back up top to John Wetzel. Near side again, Williams, ball fake on the three, comes inside, pulls it back, no one home. Don't think it was deflected, it was not. That's over and back, Mustangs get it back. Down 2-0 here at the 614 mark of the opening quarter, and this has the early field, Tony, of a low-scoring game tonight. A pretty good defense by both teams right now to start this game off. Grant you, we're only two minutes in, but one of those things where both teams gearing it up playing tough man-to-man. -to -man. You know, Blaze Krisner now working it in here for Laurel Highlands, and Blaze will lob it into the backcourt to Rodney Gallagher, picked up by Landon Butler. Gallagher switches back here with Blaze Krisner back between the circles to Keandre, and now Mason Bowles with Kavanaugh setting the screen. They'll set up the alley-oop, and Keandre able to finish from the right block. 
Couldn't send it in with the dunk and missed on the layup as well. Williams back on the other side. Up top, Tash, far side, John Wetzel spots up for the three. In and out, long rebound brought down on the far side. Landon Butler working there on Cavanaugh. A little scoop shot attempt, no good. Keandre in traffic pulls down the rebound there for Laurel Highlands. Keandre across to Gallagher. Here's Rodney working the near side, putting it up and in and drawing the foul in the process. Rodney Gallagher getting the opening two points of the game for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs with a free throw upcoming. And we're tied at two here at the 538 mark of the first. Well, all of a sudden, Alex Tash has two fouls. Just picked up his second foul. They only have him for one on the board, but they gave that other foul to Max Butler, the first one. They posted and indicated it was on Tash as Gallagher makes the free throw. And the, one of the greater Latrobe assistant coaches actually came over to the scores table for a little clarification as well because I think their bench had Tash with two personal fouls. Yeah, I did too. I mean... There was a foul out here on the Shields, and Tash was the only, only one around. Only around, yeah. correct. So certainly some miscommunication now. Two of the officials getting together on the far side. That's Tony Carter and Cody Thomas talking. They're going to play on here with no discussion down at the scores table. And that was actually the second personal foul. Just went up on Blaze Krisner. It was a little over the shoulder toss there from Max Butler. No good on the greater Latrobe side. And Krisner sends it down to Bullish. Now Krisner again off to Keandre. Open up top, he'll take the three. It's on the way, and good Keandre to Shields. Swishing it in for Keandre. That's his 18th made three of the season. And just like that, Laurel Highland six on answer. They're up six to two here at the 517 mark of the first. Yeah, really, the defense there just kind of gave him too much space at the top of the key. And on the backside, Landon Butler throwing it off Keandre to Shields and out. We'll stay with Crater Latrobe here in the Laurel Highland zone. He had a nice save there by Butler. Latrobe maintaining possession. So Butler to work it in, bounces it near side, it's landed into Max, and Max a little baby hook no good out in front. And Rodney Gallagher, the rebound there for the Mustangs with Williams showing a little pressure. A little toss from Bullish back to Gallagher and across. Here's Rodney spinning inside, a little turn and shoot on the way, no good, but fouled in the process. That one should go on to Swan Williams, but we'll wait and double check. It is on Williams. Should be his first, team third. Yeah, not a whole lot of contact right there, but... Rod got the foul, so Williams picks up his first. She said third team foul. Rodney for the season, 73% from the free throw line. Makes the first of two here. Did make, did miss a couple down the stretch, though, in that overtime session against Uniontown. Second of two free throws, no good there for Ron. Now battle underneath, and it's Jatuan Williams out of the pack with it there for Greater Latrobe. Pulling it off to Max Butler. NBA range, threes and air ball. And that one might go off of Kavanaugh and out. No, it'll be Laurel Highlands basketball. Yeah, I think they said that Wetzel stepped on the end line, tried to throw it off of Kavanaugh. Good thought, but just couldn't pull it off. Yeah, that was a long three right there. Gallagher into Keandre. Brings it back across. Front of there by Jatuan Williams. Laurel Highlands the basketball. Leading here 7-2, to but that pass down low going out of bounds off of the Mustangs and out and back over to Greater Latrobe. Just a little miscommunication there, Tony. Well, Keandre thought he saw Bullish cutting, thought he was cutting a little bit more and just kind of threw it out past his outstretched arm. So another turnover here by the Mustangs. Mustangs still, though, on a 7-0 run after Greater Latrobe scored the opening two points of the game from Max Butler. Let's hit it down low, and Patrick Cavanaugh. Nice little swat away there on Landon Butler. Cavanaugh was our player of the game on the Laurel Highland side, brought to you by Fayette County Commissioner Vince Vecides on Tuesday against Union Town. He played well. Played a good game against the Red Raiders. I said that to Laurel Highlands assistant John Smith. I said he played a pretty good game, and he said he played a heck of a game. Was really happy with the production he got from Patrick Cavan on Tuesday, hoping that carries over tonight here against Greater Latrobe. Wildcats again still feeling out the Mustangs a little bit. John Wetzel sitting off to his right to Tash. Three on the way up top off the mark. Keandre the rebound there for Laurel Highlands. Here's Keandre back across trying to work around Wetzel. A little double team came over and a push call. There you had Butler and Wetzel, Landon Butler and Wetzel both in the vicinity, but it will be Landon Butler picking up the foul. Yeah, Landon Butler just trailing the play, tried to make a steal there. Actually, I don't think the Shields even knew he was behind him. But he tried to make the steal and got called for the foul. Now you have Tyler Mondock, a 5'11 senior forward, averaging five points a game, checking in along with Jack Dorinovich, a six-foot sophomore guard, averaging three points a game as Rod launches a deep three from the far wing in the greater Latrobe zone. It's off the mark. Rebound was pulled down there by Dorinovich, sent forward, and a little collision here at the top of the key as Mason Bolish ran into John Wetzel, and Bolish will pick up the foul. 
Yeah, Bullish actually fouled out the other night against Uniontown, fouled out in that fourth quarter. So he's got to be careful with fouls as well. Picks up his first. He had both Mason Bullish and Keandre fouling out in that double overtime loss by the Mustangs against Uniontown on Tuesday night. First conference loss the Mustangs had sustained since the 2019-2020 season. Snapped a conference winning streak of 25 games in a row. And another foul called here, offensive foul, called there on the Wildcats. And that will go on Max Butler. And, Tony, they have two fouls now on Max Butler up on the scoreboard, and he's going to check out. Yes, yeah, well, that's what we said. We thought Tatch had two. Correct. They had I think Butler one of those two. two should have went. One of the two, the first one that Butler picked up, should have went on Tash. I thought so, too. Goes into Mason Bullish, a little juggle. Mason trying to regain. He comes off on the near side off a of greater Latrobe, and outlast touch there by Landon Butler. So the Mustangs keep possession up 7-2, 325 left here in the first. Brian Morozak along with Tony Hanola, Billy Dice behind the camera, Nick Barcheck back inside our WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital Studios. Gallagher sending it out to Keandre DeShields, holding there high on the left. Now Keandre working left of the lane, along two, a little bit short there off the front of the rim, scrum for the loose ball, rebound Mason Bullish finds it and puts it back up and in, first two of the game for Mason Bullish, the 5'11 senior guard, Mustangs up 9-2, to two, and Greater Latrobe turns it over on the other side, high pass, couldn't get brought down by Tyler Mondock, and the Mustangs get it back, they're on a 9-0 run up 9-2 to two here at the 3-0-3 mark of the first. Yeah, and a good thought there by Wetzel. Tried to hit Mondock underneath. He was wide open. Just threw it a little too high, a little too hard out of his reach. Keandre bouncing it forward. Three launched from the far wing. No good, but Keandre with a follow slam sending it in. It was Koffler that launched the three. And Keandre sending it in. 11-0 run. Mustangs force another turnover. Bullish breaking back again. Contact in the lane. And that will be a charge called there on Mason Bullish. Could have called a walk or a charge either way, I thought, but Bullish picks up his second foul. And Keandre with the tip slam there, just wide open. Really nobody boxing out on the Latrobe end, and Keandre able to throw that down two-handed and bring the crowd to their feet. Another electric dunk from Keandre to Shields for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. So it's an 11-0 run for Laurel Highlands. They're up 11-2, long three good from the far wing. Jack Dorinovich. Off the Wildcats bench, ends the run, and pulls Greater Latrobe back to within six. And now the Wildcats, a little backcourt pressure. Bullish forward there to Koffler, pressured by Williams, kept alive to Keandre. Keandre driving the lane, putting it off the glass, up and in Keandre to Shields. Now seven for Keandre. Mustangs back up eight at 13-5 to five here at the 208 mark of the first. Yeah, and a nice drive there by the Shields. Landon Butler, three from the parking lot, no good. Patrick Kavanaugh ripping the rebound away from Jack Dorinovich. Off to Gallagher and across. Here's Rodney Gallagher down the lane getting fouled. Might get Wetzel on that one. Yeah, I think so. Wetzel didn't agree. I think he thought he had all ball. Tony Carter kind of gave him the impression he kind of threw a little bit of elbow there. So he's going to pick up his first. And now a couple more subs coming back. Tatch coming back in. And Cordarius Davis also checking in for the first time. 6'2 junior guard. Hammerages four points a game for Brad Wetzel's squad. Rodney to work it in here, 155 left in the first. Mustangs lead by eight. Gallagher left of the basket in the greater Latrobe zone. We'll throw it away. It was looking there for Ethan Koffler. They weren't on the same page. Goes back over to the Wildcats. Yeah, right there, just couldn't get the ball in. Just pretty good defense there by Latrobe. Gallagher couldn't find anybody open at all to even to dump the ball in underneath the own hoop. John Wetzel back across for the Wildcats. Off on the near wing to Landon Butler, front of there by Keandre. Touch from Davis, swung back over on the far wing, Wetzel. And they'll kick it near side, Landon Butler for three, rattles it home. Three ball, corner pocket, Landon Butler came in averaging 17 points a game and has the Wildcats back to within five, down 13-8 and a steal. Forced there by Dorinovich, sending it off to Davis. Touch back in the corner to Landon Butler. On the wing, Dorinovich for three, it's an air ball. Davis going for the save, but just throws it right to Keandre as we play on. Kavanaugh behind the pack, was cherry picking, but lays it up and in. Kavanaugh there, Tony, right place, right time, increases the Mustangs' lead back to seven. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that is right, and a nice pass there by DeShields to find him wide open for the easy layup. Give Keandre the assist. Same team there between Dorinovich and Landon Butler as the ball was kicked. Greater Latrobe will send it in here in front of the Laurel Highlands bench as now Dante Bassiano will check in on the Greater Latrobe side, replacing 
Jack Dorinovich. Bassiano, 5'10", senior forward, just averages around a point a game on the Wildcats' side. You also have Nate Schwartzfeger in the game now for the Mustangs. A little switch back going to Landon Butler, trying to back his way in on Gallagher. Floater comes up short. Greater Latrobo keeping it alive there from Tash. He walked. Pull it back to Landon Butler. You're right, Tony. Travel call there on the Wildcats. Mustangs get it back up seven. Our friend Cody Thomas on the call there. Butler just shuffled his feet a little bit as he tried to make a couple ball fakes. Ronnie working it in. Uh, Nate Schwartzfeger. Nate bringing it uh -uh. back across. Was that a walk? Yes, it was. Top of the key in the greater Latrobe zone. So you'll have the Wildcats get it back. And it'll be Dante Bassiano to trigger it in. 38 seconds to go here, first quarter. Haven't had too many stoppages. Ten total fouls call. Both teams still with their full complement of five timeouts as Landon Butler has it up top. Fires a pass down low. Tash comes free and lays it up and in. First two of the game for Alex Tash. The 6'2 sophomore forward came in averaging eight points a game. Has the Wildcats back to within five of the Mustangs at 15 to 10. Final 15 seconds of this opening quarter. And again, Latrobe able to free somebody up underneath. A couple screens down low. And they're able to work off of those and pick up a couple easy layups. Gallagher high on the right. Kicked in the corner. Koffler. Quick launch. Three good. Ethan Koffler, third made three of the season for the 5'9 junior guard, Ethan Koffler. And that gives Laurel Highlands an 18-10 lead over Greater Latrobe. After one, we're back with the second quarter in 60 seconds. Here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. <laughs> Happy New Year from Thurby's Riverside Ford. Thurby's is pleased to announce the 2022 model year clearance sale. New Ford incentives have just been announced, and Thurby's has some fantastic deals for you. All new 2022 Ford Escape, Edge, and Explorers come with 0% for 36 months. All new 2022 Ford F-150 XLT pickups come with 0% for 36 months. $1,000 bonus cash. Plus, Thurby's just received a fresh load of new 2022 Bronco Sports, and they come with 1.9% for 36 months. They have the inventory, and they have the deals. Thurby's Riverside Ford Sales, your presidential award-winning dealer. One mile past Lady Luck Casino on Route 40. Offer expires January 31st, 2023. Ford credit financing required. See Joey, Sammy, Jimmy, or Ashley at Thurby's Riverside Ford. Back here at Laurel Highlands High School, Mustangs an 18-10 lead over the Greater Latrobe Wildcats after one. Mustangs led so far by Keandre to Shields with seven. Greater Latrobe with both Landon Butler and Jack Dorinovich, three apiece. The Latrobe Wildcats with the possession arrow to start the second quarter. And they work right to left as we describe it. You'll have Max Butler triggering it in. Butler, as far as the scoreboard's concerned, with two personal fouls on the Greater Latrobe side. Send it in to John Wetzel. A problem for Greater Latrobe, Tony, if they're a team that likes to play more of the half-court style, slower-paced game, if they get down, it might be harder for them to come back as Landon Butler, three well off the mark there. Cavanaugh, the rebound for Laurel Highlands, off to Keandre. Keandre's pass intercepted by John Wetzel. So Latrobe's football quarterback with a pick there. Saying it off to Max Butler, back in the corner to Landon Butler, long two near corner, in and out. Keandre going for the rebound, poked there by Williams, goes out of bounds over to Laurel Highlands. Yeah, poked out of bounds but there by Chetuan Williams. Now Latrobe going to pick up really like a half-court press here. It's it's full court pretty one. much. Yeah, I'm sorry, pretty much full court for most of the first quarter. Now Gallagher... Playing catch there with Nate Schwartzfeger. Across to Kavanaugh, now to Keandre, over his shoulder to Koffler. Back to Rod, far wing and in, floater on the way, no good. Underneath, Tash pulls down the rebound for Greater Latrobe, throws it away. A little miscommunication there with Chetuan Williams, so the Mustangs will get it back. Well, they're going to say, I thought they said that Kavanaugh had got a piece of it. Yeah, Tony Carter pointing the other way, so he's saying that Kavanaugh got a little piece of that ball as he was trying to make this, Tash was trying to make the pass. Didn't so, get much of it. Not much, but enough to... Make it go the wrong way. Here's Wetzel back across over to Landon Butler. Butler just holding on the far wing. Watch there by Keandre, and he fires a pass. Goes out of bounds. Was it tipped? They're going to say yes, it was. Touched by Laurel Highlands again going out. Yeah, I think the Shields got a piece of that one. And Williams was wide open cutting down the lane there, and good job by the Shields. Probably stopped an easy layup for the Latrobe Wildcats. And Landon Butler to work it in now from the corner in the Laurel Highlands zone. 
on the near side. Landon needs to hurry this one in. And we'll send it in deep, and you're going to have a battle for it. Koffler touches off to Gallagher on the steal, and Rodney comes back and gets fouled. Shot attempt no good, but Rodney fouled on the drive, and he'll have two free throws upcoming. That foul is going to be on Wetzel. That's going to be his second. So now he has two. Max Butler has two. And Landon Butler kind of panicked there, Tony. He knew it was going to be a five-second call soon, and... Kind of fired into the backcourt there on the high lob, allowed Koffler to get a piece of it and touch it off to Rod as Gallagher knocks down the first of two free throws to give him five points. Now three of four from the free throw line. Mustangs lead up to nine and 19 to 10. Yeah, and again, good defense by the Mustangs on that inbound play. Gallagher knocks down his second. Rodney now four for five from the free throw line in this game. Mustangs have doubled up the Wildcats now 20 to 10 as John Wetzel brings it back across, touches off to Juan Williams, back to... Landon Butler between the circles. A good ball moving around the arc. Now Tash on the near side. Edge of the zone. Now back to Wetzel. Watch there by Mikey Bittner. Just checked into the game as Wetzel drives. Blocked by Kavanaugh. Kept alive by Tash. Whistle down low. What do we got here, Tim? I think they're going to call that foul on Gallagher on the reach. I oh, don't know. They're going to call it on Koffler. Interesting. So Koffler must have called him for the body there. So now only the... Team foul number five for the Mustangs, and here's Butler with a nice pass. Going right in on the near side, and Max Butler hard foul there defensively by Laurel Highlands. Going now, Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh tried to make the block there and just kind of came right across Butler's head, so it's going to send him to the foul line. And first time a Wildcat's going to yep. get an effort here. As the Wildcats look for their first points of the second quarter, now down 10 at 20 to 10. Max Butler, 6'2", sophomore guard, averages 10 points a game. Knocks down the first of two free throws here. And a pretty, ni pretty nice stroke. You can see he and his brother both. I mean, I bet you if you held a mirror next to both of them, they yep. look exactly the same with the shooting form. Landon just a couple of inches on his brother, but his brother still a little more time to grow as Max misses the second free throw. So Mustangs lead by nine as Bittner has in the corner, back high on the left again to Gallagher. Rodney a little ball fake now, backs off edge of the zone. Watch there by John Wetzel. Rodney now working between the circles. Off on the far side, Koffler firing it a three and hitting it again. So Ethan Koffler has drained two threes here tonight. He has six Mustangs up 12, and once again, the Wildcats going a little too quick there, Tone. Turn it over as that pass unable to be brought down by Jatwan Williams, and Laurel Highlands will trigger it in up 12 here at the 6.08 mark of the second quarter. Yeah, I'm watching Cody Thomas making a call here. They're saying that the ball was not tipped at all. <coughs> so the Excuse Mustangs me. should be able to trigger it in then in the greater Latrobe zone. Right. So that's what they're saying. It was not tipped at all, so the Mustangs... Able to put it in play underneath their own hoop. So Rodney to work it in. Lobs it in near wing to Keandre. He'll spot up for the three. It's on the way. A little bit short, loose underneath. Tash controlling there for Greater Latrobe. He'll get fouled by Ethan Koffler. So we'll head down the other side. It'll be a one and one now for the Wildcats. And Alex Tash. Yeah, we don't have any free throw numbers on the Greater Latrobe side. They're Athletic department and coaching staff unable to make those free throw numbers available to us. We don't have any of their free throw percentages like we normally have on a lot of these schools the Mustangs play. Dorinovich checked in for the Wildcats. Tash front end of the one and one good. Going to give uh, Landon Butler a little break. Now Shane Layton in for Patrick Cavanaugh on the Laurel Highlands side. Kavanaugh with a couple blocks there in that first half, playing pretty well so far. And had a good game on Tuesday, carrying that over here tonight as Tash makes both free throws for Greater Latrobe. They're back to within 10, down 23 to 13, 602 left before halftime. Yeah, they're going to, as you said, taking Tash out. And Gallagher works it in here to Keandre to Shields. Watch there by Dorinovich. Keandre sending it off to Layton, coming wide open on the far block, and Layton. Comes into the game and gets a quick two off the Mustang bench. Lead up to 12 again at 25 to 13 for Laurel Highlands. And again, nice look underneath by Keandre to Shields to find Leighton wide open for that easy layup. Keandre, a couple of assists already tonight on the Laurel Highlands side. 
Williams sending it off to Wetzel. High pass brought down near side to Rinovich. A little give and go to Rinovich with a little floater. No good late in the rebound there for Laurel Highlands. Bounces it off to Gallagher and across. Here's Rodney kicking it out to Coffer looking for his third three of the game. No good here with a lot of contact down low. The rebound going to Dorinovich, but he has it stolen there by Bittner. A little collision at midcourt. And what are we going to get here? Is that an over and back call? I think they are going to call an over and back call. I'm pretty sure. Actually thought Rod got away with a charge there, and we saw him picked up two fouls in that second overtime, and both of them were on the charges, and really he's got to be more careful coming in underneath there. There might have been seven or eight charges between him and Keandre total. <laughs> yeah, this is true. In that game against Union You're Town right. on Tuesday. And, and actually, certainly they might have more offensive fouls combined than they have defensive fouls so far this season. I, You know what? You probably are not far off, to be honest with you. Williams off to Dorinovich on the far side for Greater Latrobe. Wildcats trail by 12. A lot of time left, five minutes left before halftime. Landon Butler here on the near side trying to work on Koffler. Now he's double teamed as Leighton comes over. Got pinned up and lost the basketball. Gallagher out of the pack with it. Three on two coming back. Off to Keandre on the near side. Oof. A little ball fake. Kicks back out. Gallagher back in the corner. Mikey Bittner for three. Sends it out the front of the rim. No good. Late in the offensive rebound trying to keep it alive. With a little battle and a little poke from Tyler Mondock. Sending it off to Landon Butler. Breaks back. Got swatted. Then Gallagher on the block. But kept alive. And they're going to kick it out to Landon. Butler drains the three from the far wing. Second made three of the game for Greater Latrobe's Landon Butler and the Wildcats still hanging around. They're down nine at 25 to 16 here, the 419 mark of the second quarter. Yeah, pretty nice block there by Rod on that backside. And maybe Butler was a little too close to the basket. Went out 19 feet and knocked down the three. Keandre between defenders trying to scoop it up and in. It was deflected though out of bounds off of Landon Butler and out. So the Mustangs will keep possession here in the Greater Latrobe zone as the Wildcats make a couple of substitutions as well. John Wetzel back in. Cordarius Davis also. Checking back into the game on the Greater Latrobe side. Looks like Schwartzfeger is going to check back in as well for the Mustangs. Going to give Koffler a little breather. Koffler, six points. Came off the bench and busted two threes so far for the Mustangs here tonight. And came into the game two made threes on the season. Already has two made threes here tonight. Keandre off to Schwartzfeger, a miss. Rebound underneath going to Mondock. Home run ball back down and underneath. Scoop shot score at Landon Butler. So Butler, five here in the second, eight for the game. Wildcats still battling down only seven now, 25 to 18. Mustangs feeling a little full court pressure again. Keandre with two Wildcats in his face, able to get a little help there from Gallagher. Brings it across here on the near side. Fronted by Landon Butler. Works off to his left. Roddy trying to stay with it. Nothing there. Directs traffic. Pulled Bittner over, but Gallagher's going to take the three up top. Off the front of the rim, no good. Butler the rebound there for Greater Latrobe. Touched off and across to Cordarius Davis. Davis sends it off to his right. Wetzel will touch back to Landon Butler again. Sends in another three. So Landon Butler, three made threes tonight, has eight here in the second, 11 for the game, and the Wildcats back to within four of Laurel Highlands at 25 to 21, 311 left before halftime. Gallagher coming back, got blocked. Wetzel set that one up, deflected into the hands of Landon Butler. Laurel Highlands might want to think about taking a timeout. Now, three minutes to go here in this second quarter. We'll see what Coach Hogger wants to do right now, though. Latrobe. Really got a lot of momentum, putting together a nice little run here. Dorinovich here on the near side, working on Layton, and that's going to be an illegal screen called there on Wetzel. That'll be his third personal foul. And that's big because you can see he's been the point guard for this team, and they're going to have to take him out with 2.48 to go here in the second quarter. Checking back in is going to be Tatch, and also Max Butler coming back in. Yeah, certainly a huge foul on the greater Latrobe side just as they were seizing the momentum in this game, pulling back to within four of Laurel Highlands. Now Rodney Gallagher to work it, and he needs to hurry. Sends it in here to Schwartzfeger on the near side. Back to Rod, fronted again by Landon Butler, has really stepped up his game here in the second quarter on the greater Latrobe side. Gallagher back across, switch up top with Mason Bullish, got deflected into the backcourt. Darius Davis is there, sending it off to Tash, and Tash will scoop it up and in. Alex Tash now with six, timeout. We're going to have an injury timeout. UPMC Centers for Rehab Services Injury Timeout. Cordarius Davis is down. We'll step aside for a quick 30-second timeout here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. Good times and good food. It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family-owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. 
Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potters on Facebook. We'll see you at Potters. As we come back, a little mini slam from Keandre to Shields coming free after a nice feed from Rodney Gallagher. Mustangs needed that. They go back up four, 27 to 23. But once again, Landon Butler getting fouled, coming back on the other side. So that's good. Kavanaugh's second foul of the night. It's going to send Butler to the line. You said Butler, slow start there in that first quarter. Only had a made three, but really coming alive here in the second quarter. Showing why he's a 1,000-point scorer for the Wildcats. An eight here in the second, 11 for the game. Ready for his first of two free throws. They're up on the way and good for Landon Butler. Again, Butler, a couple of offers already from West Liberty and Walsh. And his brother Austin played at Holy Cross. Charlotte now playing professionally in Finland. Well, his free throw could pull Greater Latro back to within two again. It's up on the way and good. As that one hit every part of the rim before dropping in for Landon Butler. Two-point game. Mustangs 27, Wildcats 25. 204 left before halftime. Gallagher off to Mason Bullish here on the near side. Sent down to Kavanaugh. Touched off to Krisner. Wasn't expecting the pass. Blaze going for the save. Threw right to Dorinovich. Off and across there to Juan Williams. Williams underneath. Trying to get it around. Keandre a miss. Missing on the follow was Tash. Williams looking for a third attempt on the possession. Couldn't get a handle of the basketball. Gallagher found it and got fouled. We'll head down to the other side for a one and one for Rodney Gallagher. Yeah, now that's going to be Tash's second foul. We, as we said, we had him for, thought we had him for two there early on, but he just got called for his second. It's going to send Gallagher to the line. Yeah, the foul situation on the Greater Latrobe side. Now you have Wetzel on the bench with three, Max Butler with two, and Alex Tash with two. Gallagher, who has scored just six points tonight, four of five from the foul line, will head to the free throw line here to shoot a one and one. That was team foul number nine on the Greater Latrobe side. Gallagher front end up on the way and good. Mustangs just trying to get things settled back down here a little bit, Sony. They seem to be in control up 12, but a Greater Latrobe surge had the Wildcats back to within two. Now the Mustang lead at three. It's going to stay at three as the second free throw. No good there from Gallagher. Goes out of bounds here on the near side, but touched by Greater Latrobe going out. Might have went off of Tyler Mondock on the little scrum there with Shane Layton. Now you're going to have Ian DeServe come in for his first action. Just a freshman. <clears throat> They're high on him, 6-2. A lot of room to grow as Gallagher sends it into Keandre here on the near side. A little ball fake, drives near wing and in. Cuts and misses, ball loose underneath. And once again, Greater Latrobe out of the pack with it. Max Butler with the basketball for the Wildcats. No fouls caught on the other side as Butler drives and misses. Blaze Krisner, the rebound there for Laurel Highlands. Off to Bullish and across. Mustangs, a three-point lead in the basketball. Krisner here in the near corner. Krisner. Fronted there by Davis, who's back on the court after that earlier injury. Off to Gallagher, coming far wing, and in that time, no doubt about it, Rodney got fouled on the drive, that time by Max Butler. Right. That'll be his third. Right. And there it is. So Max picks up his third. So now he and Wetzel, three fouls apiece. And the Mustangs and the double bonus the rest of the first half. So you have both Max Butler and John Wetzel with three fouls apiece on the Greater Latrobe side as Gallagher knocks down the first of two free throws. So Rodney now four or five from the foul line here in the second quarter and six of eight now for the game. Yeah, and you can see the Latrobe bench was questioning it too. Didn't think that Max Butler had three fouls, but that's what we have him as now. Gallagher makes both free throws, nine for the game now for Rodney Gallagher, lead back up to five. At 30 to 25. As Latrobe bounces it out to Jatuan Williams, long two near wing in and out. Gallagher the rebound there for the Mustangs. Rodney out of his own zone. Off to Keandre and across. Keandre up top, watched there by Landon Butler. Now backs off, resets here high on the left. We're down to 52 seconds left before halftime. I'm going to try to hold for one shot here for the whole minute. That's a little unusual for the Mustangs. Usually like to attack. Krisner <coughs> got body bump, no foul call, just lost it out of bounds. And Greater Latrobe said Coach Brad Wetzel kind of rolling the dice here with Max Butler still on the court here late in the second quarter with three personal fouls. See, I, I well, we'll see what happens here at halftime. They may correct that. I'm not so sure, but. Well, if so, then you're going to have Tash with three. Exactly. 
You're still going to have a guy yeah. from your starting lineup with three personal fouls. Actually, you'll have two considering Wetzel's already on the bench with three personals. Right. There's the Wildcats. Hard feed from Landon Butler down to Max. Got deflected, but Greater Latrobe able to keep possession here. Jatuan Williams switches back now. Once again with Landon Butler down to 20 seconds left in the quarter. Greater Latrobe, the basketball down five. Jaden Ringer into the game for the first time on the Laurel Highland side. Ball comes loose on the court. Mustangs want a jump ball. They're going to get a clean steal from Keandre. Off to Gallagher trying to set up the alley-oop. Wasn't on pace. And then Keandre getting fouled there by Cordarius Davis. Yeah, and they he'll were. shoot two free throws. Gallagher was trying to set Keandre up for the little slam there, and that would have brought the house down, but it's going to be a foul on Cordarius Davis, that's going to be his first. It's going to send the Shields to the line, though. He's going to get two. Mustangs led 18-10 to 10 after one quarter of play. Open up that lead to 12 points here in the second quarter. Greater Latrobe back to within two. Now Laurel Highlands leading by five at 30-25 to 25 with 6.9 left on the clock here in the second quarter. And Keandre making the first of two free throws to put him in double figures with 10. That was his first free throw attempt of the game. Came in 68% for the season, 57 of 84. Lead now at six with a second free throw up coming here for Keandre. They've not had either team take a timeout here, Tony, in the first half either. I know, it's odd. <laughs> Saving them up for the second half, I guess. Keandre's second free throw on the way in good. You don't have the use it or lose it timeouts like you do the college game. Lead at seven for the Mustangs. One last opportunity here for Greater Latrobe. It's Landon Butler from the near wing, missing on the three to end the quarter. So the Mustangs lead was down to as many or as few as two. Now it's back up to seven at 32 to 25 as we reach halftime. Stay tuned for our halftime show brought to you by the Radcliffe Law Firm on the way next. Laurel Highlands 32, Greater Latrobe 25. We're back in a moment here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Keep your legal needs close to home. Attorney Vincent T. Berry specializes in criminal justice, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. Attorney T. Berry is located at 84 East Main Street across the street from the Fayette County Courthouse in Uniontown. When you need to consult an attorney, make your first call to Attorney Vince T. Berry. It will be the only call you need to make. Call 724-430-0300. That's 724-430-0300. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. Bad hair day? Bad day at the office? Bad day behind the wheel? Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprouls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available at all. Going on now, it's the upper Chevy E. Get a new 2023 Chevy Equinox for only $99 per month. Stop in for a test drive or visit SeaHarborChevyEast.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. This is the GMF Financial for well-qualified individuals. 24 months at 10,000 miles per year. With 6,500 cash rate equity with GMW's loyalty or lease conquest. Plus tax, title fees, and for payments. Sale ends January 31st, 2023. While supplies last, call dealer for all of the details at 724-668-2231. Looking for the highest quality products at the lowest prices? Shop and save on Walnut Hill in Uniontown is the widest selection of brands and the freshest offerings around. They specialize in your family's grocery needs. Save big and sign up for the Shop and Save Perks card to get money-saving benefits and discounts on gas. Shop and save. Walnut Hill Road, Uniontown, open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Working hard to offer you the best at Shop and Save because it's the just right thing to do. 
Movement Physiotherapy is here to serve you. Now located off Route 40 on Pedro Drive, west of Uniontown, Movement Physiotherapy treats back issues, knee and ankle pain, shoulder, hip, neck, and balance issues, and provides post-surgical rehab. Using aquatic therapy, manual therapy, therapeutic exercise, soft tissue massage, electrical stimulation, running analysis, and balance programs, Tyler Gasek and his team are ready to improve your health with physical therapy. To schedule your appointment, phone 724-912-PTPT or visit Movement Physiotherapy online at movementpp.com. Dinner's great. It's one of your top three favorite meals. You just don't want to have to make it. Well, with Jimmy John's, you don't have to. Whether you live in a sandwich delivery zone or head into the store, you can always get a freaky fresh sandwich. Click to order at jimmyjohns.com. Freaky fast, freaky good. Order online at jimmyjohns.com or call 724-437-6800 for delivery or curbside pickup. Jimmy John's, next to Walnut Hill Shop and Save. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Drydob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m., Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Drydob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Laura Highlands a 32-25 lead over the Greater Latrobe Wildcats here at halftime. Tony is your halftime stats are being brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. All right, for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs in that first half, they were led by Keandre DeShields, who had 11 points. Rodney Gallag Gallagher followed him with nine Six points from Ethan Koffler off the bench on two made threes. Two points by Mason Bolish. Two by Patrick Cavanaugh. Two by Shane Layton off the bench in that second quarter. They scored 18 in the first, 14 in the second for their total of 32. They were 9 for 11 from the foul line and had three made threes. Two by Koffler and one by Rod Gallagher. On the Latrobe Wildcats end, they were led by Landon Butler who had 13 he had three made threes, had ten points in that second quarter. He was followed by six points by Alex Tash, three points by Max Butler, and three by Jack Dorinovich, who hit a three in that first quarter. Ten in the first, 15 in the second for their total of 25. They were five for six from the foul line, and they had four made threes, three by Landon Butler and one by Jack Dorinovich. Mustangs back in action on Tuesday. They'll hit the road to take on the Norwood Knights. We're on the air at 645 with our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show. Opening tip set for 730. Friday night, Laurel Highlands at Elizabeth Ford as they get back into conference play. Another 730 tip. We'll also have a Facebook Live exclusive on Tuesday of the Uniontown Albert Gallatin game. We'll have the Red Raiders a week from Sunday taking on Al Equipa. That'll be a 330 star Pittsburgh basketball classic at Montour. We're here at halftime tonight. Laurel Highlands 32, Greater Latrobe 25. Second half comes your way next here on WMBS, the Triple High School Sports Network, and Facebook Live. Novacare Rehabilitation is now in Masontown. Using a personalized plan of care and one-on-one -on -one sessions, Novacare gives you an advantage in rehabilitation. Dr. Haley Cruiser and our professional staff are certified to use industry-leading treatments, including LVST Big Therapy for Parkinson's disease, which increases mobility, improves balance, and decreases time necessary to complete tasks. These services supplement Novacare's exceptional orthopedic, concussion, and vestibular dysfunction resources. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call our new Mason Town office on Route 21 McClellan Town Road at 724-491-5220. Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer litigated over 275 civil and criminal trials, some of which have been aired on Oprah, Inside Edition, and ESPN. Having an engineering degree, master's in business administration, and law degree qualifies him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. His firm concentrates in wills, trusts, estates, property transfers, personal injury, solar field and Marcellus gas negotiations, and family law. Small enough to care and smart enough to win. Phone 724-425-1162 or email Tommy Schaefer at Hotmail.com. Are your dentures cracked, loose, broken, or missing a tooth? Or maybe it's time for a new set of dentures. Call the office of Dr. Jonathan Krisner and Dr. Jennifer Haar at 600 Cherry Tree Lane in Uniontown. Thanks to their in-office denture lab, they can make your new dentures faster than other offices and in most cases, same-day denture repairs. They also offer teeth whitening, clear braces, and single-visit crowns. Call for your appointment. 724-438-0241 or visit their Facebook page. Going on now, the Chevrolet. Get a new 2023 Chevy Equinox for only $99 per month. Stop in for a test drive or visit SeaHarperChevy.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. 
lease is through GMF for well-qualified individuals, 24 months and 10,000 miles yearly, with 6,500 cash rate equity down with GMLE's loyalty or conquest. Payment is for tax, title fees, and for payment. Sale ends January 31st, 2023. While supplies last, call dealer for all other details at 724-929-8000. Just as your local State Farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto. And guess what you'll get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown for the service you deserve at the price you want. So try to combine home and auto today. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call 724-592-6308 for your surprisingly great rates. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. South Union Township Supervisor Rick Vernon has spent his life helping others. Now in his 17th year of service, he previously served us as a district judge for 24 years after eight years of teaching our kids. Like in basketball, Rick Vernon knows that it takes a team to produce winning results. Let's keep our great team of supervisors together. Rick Vernon says, go team! Uniontown Detailing offers an all-inclusive auto care experience. Services include full auto detailing, professional ceramic coating, window tinting, undercoating, paintless dent repair, and more. Uniontown Detailing has moved to a new location on 255 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. Stop by and check them out today. Best of luck this season to all local teams from Uniontown Detailing. Garrett Brickhire has been a business owner and doctor in the Uniontown community for 38 years. He's actively involved in the community, served as team chiropractor for the Laurel Highlands School District, and was inducted into the Laurel Highlands Life Achievement Hall of Fame. Dr. Brickhire is also chairman of the Fayette County Reagan Republicans and wants to continue to make a difference in the community, and he'll be running for a South Union Township supervisor in the May 2023 primary. Good luck to the Laurel Highlands Mustangs from Dr. Garrett Brickhire. Hello, this is your Fayette County Commissioner, Vince Facides. There is nothing more exciting than high school sports. As a graduate of Laurel Highlands and a letterman myself, I know all the athletes work extra hard to be competitive, plus maintain their study skills. Again, this is Commissioner Vince Facides saluting all the young contestants for their efforts. Good luck and may the best team prevail. And the winner is... Back here at Laurel Highlands High School, the Mustangs a 32-25 lead over the Greater Latrobe Wildcats. Brian Morozak alongside Tony Hanula, Billy Dice behind the camera on our Facebook Live video feed. And Nick Barczyk back inside our WVU Medicine in Uniontown Hospital Studios. Nice to have you along with us for a Friday night of high school basketball. And Tony, the opening minutes of this third quarter is going to be very interesting. Greater Latrobe an opportunity to try to keep it close. Mustangs an opportunity if they can extend, extend that lead back to double digits. Kind of run away here in the second half. Yeah, kind of had a a little bit of different second quarter there. It looked like the Mustangs just struggled all the way around. I mean, they were only outscored by one point, but good thing they had an eight-point lead going into that second quarter because, really, Latrobe outplayed them. And we do have a correction, too. They changed the fouls. Max Butler only has two. Tash now with three. So now Tash and Wetzel with three fouls each for Latrobe. And that's what we originally thought. They made that correction at halftime as Keandre sends it off to Rodney. Mustangs working right to left as the third quarter gets underway. Touch from Bullish on the elbow. Pulls back outside the arc between the circles. Now to Blaze Krisner. Krisner, a little operating room. Will look off to his left. Nothing there. Now back to his right. Double team comes over. Feeds it off to Gallagher. Drives inside. Scoop shot. Score it. Rodney Gallagher now in double figures with 11. Mustang lead up to 9 at 34-25, to 25, 35 seconds into this third quarter. Yeah, a nice little finger roll there by Rod, working on the left side, just spinning it up and making it. But Jatuan Williams back on the other side, gets his first points of the night from outside the arc, right at the top of the key, and Greater Latrobe continues to hang around. They're back to within 6, down 34-28. to 28. Yeah, and the fifth made three tonight by Latrobe. They've gotten three from Landon Butler, and here's Keandre Long, two up top, answers back. 13 for Keandre, Mustangs back up eight at 36 to 28. Back on the other side, Cavan a little deflection. Did he throw it out of bounds off of Tash? Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. Nice job there by Cavan. Good job to get his hand on it and be even better to throw it off of Tash to get the possession for the Mustangs. I'll tell you what, Kavanaugh's really picked up his game over the last couple of weeks. Keandre after a little deflection there from Kavanaugh gets the basket to go and one right out in front. 15 now for Keandre. Mustang lead up to 10 at 38 to 28. 
with 6.46 left here in the third. They called that foul on Jatuan Williams. That's going to be his second. It's going to send Keandre to the line for the three-point play here. Keandre, two for two from the line. Free throw up on the way and good for Keandre to Shields. Now five here in the second, 16 for the game for Keandre. Jatuan Williams back on the other side for Gray Latrobe. Touched by Butler off on the far wing, Wetzel. Wetzel off to his right again to Landon Butler. Touch again from Jatuan. Now to Wetzel again on the switch back. Hard feed down to Jatuan. Out to Landon Butler on the near side. A little poke from Bullish. Scrums on. Landon keeps it alive off to Max. Butler for three up top. In and out. Long rebound on the back side. Wetzel trying to keep it alive. Does so over to Tash. Trying to pull it back up top. Intercepted by Gallagher. Here's Rodney racing back. Rodney taking it right to the rack. Scooped it up. Did not get it to drop. Butler the rebound. will try to bounce it forward. When it might have went off the back of Blaze Krisner did out of bounds. We'll stay with Greater Latrobe here in the Laurel Highland zone as the Mustangs lead by 11 with 6.04 left here in the third. Yeah, Butler tried to make a bounce pass there, and it just off the heel of Blaze Krisner and out of bounds. So now the Mustangs build that lead back up to 11 pretty quickly here in the first two minutes of the third quarter. Landon Butler, jumper from the foul line. No good. He fell down. No foul called. We play on Bullish the rebound. Kavanaugh looking for a home run ball down to Keandre well out of his reach. And he'll go back over to Greater Latrobe. Yep, got to put a little air under that one. Good thought, though. But a little too strong for Keandre. Yes. Now Keandre causing some trouble here. And you have Wetzel almost turning it over, being able to get it back to Landon Butler. Butler across, jumper, foul and extended on the left, no good. And a battle for the loose ball, rebound, kept alive, and Tash gets fouled by Gallagher going up. And that's going to be Rod's first. Tash. Took it up strong, but Rod got him with the body underneath, so he's going to pick up his first. It's going to send Tash to the line where he's two for two here tonight. He's got six points. But again, now sitting on three personal fouls after that correction. First of two free throws on the way in good. Tell you what, we don't have any stats, but Latrobe pretty strong from the line here tonight. Six for seven. Second of two free throws on the way in good for Alex Tash. So Tash 4 for 4 from the foul line. Greater Latrobe back to within 9 of Laurel Highlands at 39 to 30 as Blaze Krisner gets tripped up here at midcourt. And that's going to be on Wetzel, and that's going to be his fourth. So he's really not going to see a whole lot of this no. third quarter. That's a big foul, especially from your point guard on the Greater Latrobe side. Now Jack Dorinovich is going to check in. The next dead ball, they didn't get him up quick enough. So now Wetzel's going to have to be careful with yeah, those. He can foul him out of the game right exactly. now. Exactly. We'll send it off to Keandre Wetzel defending. Let's see how close Wetzel goes here. But Landon Butler came over with a swat. It'll stay Laurel Highlands basketball in the greater Latrobe zone. Hello to Vince Tberry checking in on our live stream. Vince, one of our sponsors of Mustang basketball here on WMBS. Hope you're having a good evening, Vince. And thanks for watching. Rodney into Keandre. Mustang lead at nine. Keandre long two near wing. Good. A little fadeaway action there from Keandre having a big quarter here in the third, Tony. Seven to the third, 18 for the game. Lead yeah. at 11 at 41 to 30 with 5.09 left in the third. Yeah, and so far he scored nine out of the 11. I'm sorry, seven out of the nine, excuse me. Max Butler over to Landon Butler on the far side. Watch there by Keandre. Big juncture of this game for Greater Latrobes to try to hang around to Rinovich right out in front, couldn't finish. Rebound deflected off to Gallagher, and he got fouled there by Jatuan Williams. And that'll be his third. And it was interesting. Rod was kind of looking for it. Cody Thomas made the call. Tony Carter telling the Latrobe bench, settle down a little bit. So that's going to be Williams' his third. <laughs> He's saying, hey, he got me on the arm. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the Latrobe bench liked that Rodney basically called foul. It's like playing street ball out there, Tone. Yeah, exactly. Foul, foul. Yep, exactly. Rodney called it, and he got it from the officials. Now away from the ball, offensive foul called here on Laurel Islands. Is that going to be on Krisner or Kavanaugh? It's going to be on Kavanaugh, I think. It is. be his third. That's going to be his third, yeah. Just a, I don't know, it looked like they were fighting for position underneath there or whatever it was, but... Landon Butler on the lob back to Max Butler. Pulls it back here on the near wing between the circles. Off to Landon. He'll spot up for the three. That's his money spot, but not this time. Off the back iron, no good. Gallagher, the rebound, racing back. Sends it off to Krisner. They weren't on the same page. 
Goes out of bounds and back over to Greater Latrobe. No foul call there on that sequence, Tim. No, and actually I thought that could have been another charge on Gallagher after he threw that ball out of bounds. Thought he was going to go Keandre's way, and I think he was just trying to fool the defense a little bit. Tried to flick, got over to Blaze, Blaze Krisner, I'm sorry, and uh, just a little too far out in front of him. Games had an interesting field tonight. Started a little slow paced. Laurel Highlands open up again at 12 point lead. Greater Latrobe closed back to within two. Now the Wildcats trying to hang around. Landon trying to send it off to his brother Max. Picked off by the Mustangs. Rodney will just float it up and in. Thought it might be an alley oop with Keandre sitting there on the right block. But it goes up and in for Rod. He has 13. Mustangs lead at 13. That's their largest of the game at 43 to 30. As we go under four minutes left here in the third. Yeah, and you like to see that little shot. We've seen Rod, as we said, pick up a couple personal fouls, taking it strong to the basket. But that little floater right there, that's the trick right there to avoid those personal fouls in the charge. If you can do more of that, especially in close games against some of these tougher opponents, the Mustangs will see down the stretch. Again, you'll have Norwin coming up on Tuesday, South Allegheny in a couple of weeks as well. And again, conference games on the second go around with Bell Vernon and Uniontown. And after a miss, Mustangs trying to break back. Deflected out of bounds off of Greater Latrobe's Jack Dorinovich and out. Mustangs will keep possession here in the Greater Latrobe zone with 325 left in the third. Laurel Highlands leads by 13. And Tony, we have yet to have a timeout taken by either one of these teams tonight. Well, the good news about that is that'll get us closer and quicker to one of our sponsors, put it that way. Here's Keandre spinning on the inside, scooped it off the glass. No good, Jatuan Williams with the rebound, and Jatuan right down the lane looking for the floater, gets that one to go. So Jatuan Williams, five third quarter points for Greater Latrobe. Wildcats backed with an 11 down 43 to 32. Gallagher trying to touch it off there to Cavanaugh, charge call there in the lane. Wildcats to get it back. Yeah, tried to Flip that little pass down to Cavanaugh, who's wide open. You're going to have Leighton check in. Let's see who they're going to take out here. Maybe Cavanaugh. That was the second uh, personal technical. on Gallagher. Is it a double technical or look like Gallagher and Cordarius, Cordarius Davis, Davis yep. chatting a little bit? So let's see what happens. Definitely on Rod. So Rodney picks up the technical. Looks like that's going to be the only one caught here, Tony. No, I think they. I think they might have called on Davis as well. Yeah, they did post on Davis. Yeah. You're right. Well, yeah. late going up. Yep. So, so Rodney now with three, with 3.02 left here in the third. Mustangs lead by 11. And you won't shoot here on this situation with a double technical on each side. No. Yeah, just getting a little chippy here. You'll just have the fouls posted in Greater Latrobe, who was going to have the basketball. They'll send it in from the far side. So now Rod has three. He and Kavanaugh, each with three fouls for the Mustangs. And Landon Butler to work it in. He'll bounce it in again to brother Max on the near side. He'll bring it across. Under three minutes now left here in the third, 43-32 Mustangs. Dorinovich here on the near wing. Kicked into the corner now to Drew Kozic, seeing his first action of the night. Back to Landon Butler. They're going to get a little push call there on Keandre. That's Keandre's first foul of the night. We saw him foul out the other night against Uniontown, but tonight, foul free. You're going to have for that Koffler there. checking in for Gallagher. Again, Gallagher with three personals now ahead of the Laurel Highlands bench for a little break here. Yeah, that's unusual. We don't see that very often. I think you want to make sure you have <laughs> Ronnie on the court, though, to start the fourth quarter. You don't want to have him picking up four personal fouls here in the third. Oh, no, I definitely agree with it, but, I mean, it's just one of those things where I don't think he's taking too many breaks No, he's here, not. You know. I think I, you go back to the Mount Lebanon game, I think early in the season got in a little foul trouble, had to sit, and that was the Mustangs' opening game of the year. Right. But haven't had too many instances where he's had to come out at all for Laurel Highlands. The Greater Latrobe with the basketball back. They're down 11. Dorinovich, far wing for three. Fires, too strong at the back. Iron scrum for the loose ball rebound. Kept alive by the Wildcats. Mondock had it, had it poked away. Scrum on on the far side. And they're going to rule that a jump ball. We'll go to the arrow and right now. It will favor Greater Latrobe. Good hustle by both teams. You had Krisner and Layton going after the ball there. Didn't get the numbers on the Latrobe end, but really good hustle by both teams. Brad Wetzel was saying he called timeout. It'll still be his ball, but again, the arrow will switch as Landon Butler sends it into his brother Max in the backcourt with 2.25 left here in the third. Now, I'm not so sure they could have given him that timeout anyway. Really no possession by either team. Dorinovich off to Max Butler, watched there by Mason Bullish. To his left to Landon Butler. 
Landon holding from the far wing, now looking to drive. Will fold it up, came up short, went off Beath and Koffler, though, and out. So once again, Greater Latrobe will keep possession here in the Laurel Highland zone. A couple more changes. Tash back in along with Jatuan Williams on the Greater Latrobe side. You're going to have Butler triggering it in for Latrobe. It's Near steal by Bullish. Just try to get into Jatuan Williams. Tash, good pass down low, coming free. Tyler Mondock laying it up and in. First two off the bench for Mondock. Wildcats back to within nine now. 43 to 34 with 153 left here in the third. Keandre on the far wing being watched there by Mondock. Now backs off here, resets high on the right. Keandre right of the lane, step back three from the far wing, drains it. Keandre to Shields. Second made three of the game as 10 here in the third. 21 for the game, leading all scores. Coming back, scoop shot landed. Butler no good, offensive rebound. Tash fouled going back up. That foul is going to be on Layton. Leighton just unable to corral that rebound and fouled Tash. Good job on the offensive side by Tash to get that rebound. Now he's going to go to the line and shoot two. Mustangs up 46-34, 129 left here in the third. Tash at the foul line where he's four for four so far in this game. First of two here, no good. So finally a miss at the foul line for Alex Tash. Dorinovich is going to check out. and They're going to bring Wetzel in here with four fouls. Minute 29 to go into third. Rolling the dice, yeah. especially with Latrobe going back on defense after this free throw. Tash is second. Again, no good. Scrum for the rebound. Keandre finds it there for Laurel Highlands. Well, you almost got to wonder if they think that they can make some hay here while Rod's out in this last minute and 20 to go here in the third. You kind of have to roll the dice down 12 against a very strong Laurel Highlands team. That's certainly what Brad Wetzel's doing at this juncture of the game. And the Mustangs don't mind taking a little air out of the ball either. You're up 12. You have Rodney on the bench in a little bit of foul trouble. No reason to really force the issue at this juncture of the game as we approach the one-minute mark of the third quarter. And Keandre almost had it poked away. Regained. Sends it off on the wing. Koffler for three. A little short there. Bullish, though. The offensive rebound keeps it alive. Hands off to Keandre in traffic. They're going to say that foul is on the floor. It will be the 15th foul of the second half on the Wildcats. And the way Jatuan Williams is reacting, Looks like it's going to be on him, and it is, and that's his fourth. So he's going to pick up his fourth foul, and you're right. He did not agree, and he's got to be a little careful. The problem for the Wildcats right now, Tony, they're not spreading around the fouls. No. You have Wetzel with four, Williams with four, Tash with three. You have Max Butler with two, Cordarius Davis with two, and Landon Butler with one. Ethan Koffler to send it in. Into Keandre here on the near side. Keandre trying to spin his way back on the inside. Leans and gets fouled again. And that will be the second on Landon Butler. This yeah, time it will send Keandre to the foul line. Yeah, Keandre really just used that big frame. Kind of leaned in and drew that foul against Butler. But he's going to go back to the foul line, as you said, having a great third quarter. Keandre to get two here for Laurel Highlands. First of two up on the way and good for Keandre to Shields. Gives Keandre 11 here in the third and now 22 points for the game. Keandre now 1,223 points for his career. That includes his freshman year at Uniontown. Second of two free throws on the way and good again for Keandre. So a 23-point night for Keandre to Shields. Mustang lead at 14 at 48 to 34. Final 40 seconds of this third quarter. Hard pass down low to Rinovich. Game free. Quentin finish. Late in the rebound there for the Mustangs. Yeah, great look there by Max Butler to hit the cutting Durinovich. He just couldn't convert, but a beautiful entry pass. Here's Keandre back across for the Mustangs. Holds here high on the right. 20 seconds left in this third quarter. Keandre in no hurry right now. The Mustangs leading by 14 on the scoreboard. Keandre off to Mason Bullish. Little ball fake now. Keandre again, nine seconds left in the quarter. Keandre says it's go time. Try to drive between defenders. Got hit late. They're going to call it on the floor. It'll be a one here? and one if it's on the floor. Yeah, but I... Okay, It'll go good. on uh, Landon. Landon Butler. Wow, okay. His third. Keandre. Roll us a one and one. Yeah, Keandre trying to regroup there a little bit. Took a shot to the head. Seems to be okay, though. Now one and one situation here for Keandre. Front end up on the way and good as it spins in for Keandre to Shields. 
So a 24-point game already for Keandre. Lead now at 15 at 49 to 34. Yeah, right at his season average. Average in 25 a game. Mustangs with everybody back. 5.5 left on the clock here in the third quarter. Second of two free throws again. Keandre getting a friendly bounce to send that one in. Lead now at 16. Out of his own zone, Wetzel. Wetzel with four personals, pulls it back. Max Butler for three, no good at the buzzer. To end the third quarter, all Laurel Highlands right now leading by 16. Up 50 to 34 after three. We're back with a fourth and 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. I'm attorney Bill Martin, partner at Radcliffe Law. I have experience in workplace accident cases for nearly 15 years. If you've been hurt at work and are trying to navigate a workers' compensation claim, are you being treated unfairly by your employer? When you're hurt at work, your employer's main goal is to get you back to work, but you may not be physically ready to do that. If you find yourself in a similar situation, call us at Radcliffe Law, 724-439-3939. We'll meet with you at no cost. Radcliffe Law, making the law personal. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. Big third quarter for Laurel Highlands. They outscored Greater Latrobe 18-9. Open up. A 16-point lead at 50-34 to 34 as we come back for the fourth quarter. Brian Morozak alongside Tony Hanola. Billy Dice behind the camera on our Facebook Live video feed. And Nick Barczyk back inside our WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital Studios. Keandre DeShields pacing the way for the Mustangs with 25 points. Landon Butler sitting on 13 on the Greater Latrobe side. And fouls certainly have been the story of this one, Tony, especially for Greater Latrobe. Yeah, and as you said, Brian, you have Tash with three Jatuan Williams with four, Wetzel with four, Butler with three, That's and Max Butler with three. So uh, Both Butlers with three. Right. The Mustangs with a basketball to start the fourth. Gallagher off to Keandre. Now Cavanaugh back out there as well with the basketball, spinning on the inside and floating it up and in. Patrick Cavanaugh, second field goal of the game. He has four. Mustangs lead by 18 at 52-34. to 34. Back on the other side, Landon Butler, and a blocking foul called likely on Patrick Cavanaugh. It goes on Cavanaugh. That's his fourth. And it does. So now Kavanaugh. Now I'm going to guess that Coach Hogger is going to let it ride a little bit. I don't, I don't see him calling for Leighton off the bench yet. So going to let him ride. The Mustangs with an 18-point lead. And Landon Butler did not score in that third quarter. All 13 of his points coming in the first half. Front end of a 1-1 one and one here. Good as he rattles at home. Landon now 3-of-3 three three from the free throw line in this game. 6'4 senior guard. Came in averaging 17 points a game. Max Butler getting some instruction from Coach Wetzel. Landon misses the second free throw. Well, scrum on here on the near side. Tash keeping it alive. Off on the wing. Max Butler for three rattles out. Loose underneath. Latrobe again keeps it alive. Tash looking for a follow after the nice save from Landon Butler. No good. Now Keandre double team got the rebound and works his way out of his own zone. Keandre no look feed. Cavanaugh down low. Got blocked and fouled by Tash. That'll be Tash's fourth personal. Yeah, and really a lot of physicality underneath yes. there. Really, it thought they might have called a foul on the backside here in the backcourt, but Keandre just kind of wrestled that away and brought it down. But Kavanaugh is going to go to the line. Kavanaugh here so far, four points tonight. First of two free throws good for Patrick Kavanaugh. Came in 11 of 18 from the free throw line, 61%. Has all three of the Mustangs' points here in the fourth quarter. Lead at 18, second of two, good, make it a 19-point lead for Laurel Highland. Six for Kavanaugh, 54-35 Mustangs, 7-17 left here in the fourth. And yeah, the Mustangs now 16 for 18 from the line in this contest. He's been very consistent, down low, Kavanaugh blocked there on the drive from John Wetzel. Loose on the court as Keandre picks up the loose ball. Keandre back across on the far side. Keandre from the far wing, looking to come inside, a little step back jumper from the foul line, no good. And Tash, the rebound there for Greater Latrobe. Needed a little help. Finally got it there at midcourt from Max Butler. Able to pull in that pass. Set it off to his left to brother Landon. Landon now holds with Keandre watching. To his right to Jack Dorinovich. Up top again to Max Butler. 
And now Landon. Landon right of the lane. Trying to spin his way on the inside. Couldn't get the shot to drop. Ball loose underneath. And a little poke out from Kavanaugh over to Schwartzfeger. And then back to Keandre as the Mustangs in control again. Tony up 19 with 6.20 left here in the fourth. Yeah, Landon Butler just got a little too deep underneath there. The Mustangs able to just swallow him up, trap him there with three guys and force the turnover. Rodney high on the right. Watched there by John Wetzel with four personals. Now Rodney from the near elbow, jumper on the way, no good. Battle for the rebound underneath and pulling it down. Max Butler will send it back across. Bounce there from Dorinovich down low. And they'll reset back up top. Max Butler near side landed, coming near baseline. Will spin back over to Wetzel. Take a jumper from the foul line, no good. Loose underneath, tip and tash, no good. Ball still loose. And Mikey Bittner out of the pack with it there for the Mustangs. Off to Gallagher and across. Rodney far wing spins inside. Pretty move in the finish. Rodney Gallagher with 15 tonight. It's a 21-point lead for Laurel Highlands. Latrobe trying to come quickly back on the other side. Ball deflected again. That'll be a push call on Max Butler. And that'll be personal foul number three for Max Butler. Right, Butler just trying to get after that loose ball. And now we're going to have a timeout. Yeah, full timeout. Our first of the game coming here with 528 left in the fourth. 56-35 Mustangs. We're back at 60 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. Go to Ford Union Town and trade me in. John Clinton with Dominic Carbone from President Award winning Ford Union Town. Folks, we're kicking off the new year with some inventory that's actually here on the ground. I'm talking about 25 F-150s, 12 Explorers, 6 Escapes, 11 Ecosports, and that's just to name a few. And deals? Yup, we're making them. If you've been playing the waiting game, it's time to stop, click, or call and talk to one of our friendly sales staff today. If you have a bit more time, you can still pre-select one of our inbound vehicles or we can place a factory order just for you. Pre-owned? We got them. We have over 60 vehicles here and available. Most are certified with factory warranty. And you have a vehicle in the driveway that you just don't drive? Well, consider this. We will buy your vehicle from you even if you don't buy one from us. That's 40 Uniontown on the hill across from Applebee's, 724-425-5980, 724-425-5980, or visit our website at 40uniontown.com. 56-35, Laurel Highlands in control over Great Old Trump. Lead it. 21. Tony here on the radio on Tuesday. Actually, have a Mustang tattoo on you. Never knew that. Yeah, I do. Yeah, do. Yeah, got a little Mustang tattoo. One on my ankle. One somewhere else that nobody's seen. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Nice of Phil Michael to let us know about that on Thursday. Yeah, he probably heard where I got it. Yes. I won't ask that question either. Yeah. Schwartzfeger at the line. Actually, one of the pictures I have is a tattoo. I wonder if anybody got NIL money for it. <laughs> <laughs> Schwartzfeger gets his first point of the night at the foul line. Mustangs lead by 22 at 57 to 35. Second of two free throws on the way in good. So Nate Schwartzfeger into the scoring column for Laurel Highlands with two. Lead at 23 now for the Mustangs. It's Juan Williams back on the other side. Goes cross court far side. Over to Wetzel and now back on the near side of Landon Butler. Some long passes there on the Great Latrobe side. Back up top, Max Butler holds again. His right, little touch there from Mondock. Off to Wetzel, who drains the three. So John Wetzel, that's his first points of the game here, Tony. Come with 5.03 left in the fourth quarter. Again, he's battled a lot of foul trouble tonight, but came in averaging 11.2 points a game. And by the way, that's not a Rod Gallagher tattoo I was talking about, so just to let you know okay. that. We'll keep it secret. That's fine. You're the only one who knows the secret so far. That's to right. it out of bounds, we'll stay with... Laurel Highlands here in the Greater Latrobe zone. Yeah, I don't want you to think I got Rod. Just a Mustang. I got you. Here's Rodney bringing it out of his own zone. The big fundraiser going on tomorrow for the Laurel Highlands baseball team. Tony, night at the races. Should be a lot of fun. We're both heading out there with our significant others. It'll be a blast. Yes. We'll have a good time. Yes, looking forward to it. We were already told to bring some money. Yes, have a... Chinese auction going on. Yeah. What's the name of your horse or jockey? Soon to be glue. Okay. That's my That's horse. Nice. Yep. And his name mine Buckeye. Yeah. To keep it simple. Yeah, soon to be glue. That'll tell you something. Probably doesn't have a chance to win. No. As long as I have to shoot him after the race. <laughs> That's it. He'll be in an elementary school near you next week. <laughs> Ronnie heading back to the foul line here for Laurel Highlands. Mustangs up twenty. 
And 58 to 38, 418 left here on the fourth. Rodney, 15 for the game so far. First of two free throws on the way in good. Of course, that's a Seinfeld reference if you didn't get it. I got it. Nope, I got it. I got it. Gallagher, second of two free throws. Short there off the front of the rim. Mustangs trying to keep it alive, but it's Greater Latrobe with the basketball, breaking it back across. Wetzel, out to Jatuan Williams, and now Wetzel again, watched there by Keandre. And over to Landon Butler, and to his right, well off the mark there on the three, Mondock. Ball comes loose. Landon Butler finds it back coming inside. They're going to get Keandre for a foul. Mustangs eighth team foul, so a one and one opportunity now for the Wildcats here at the line. Yeah, Keandre didn't agree with that, but really just kind of cut in front of Landon Butler to impede his chance to get to the basket. So he picks up his second foul and puts Butler back at the line. 14 points in this game for Landon Butler. It's going to be a lane violation. I think he had Williams come across early, and that'll just nullify the free throw attempts. Right. The bad part about that is Landon Butler gets charged with a missed yep. free throw. It's a donut there. Yep. 59-38 Mustangs, 3.57 left here in the fourth. And I think, Rod need to work it in. Yeah, I think Rod was actually asking him if he can run the baseline there, but it wasn't a made basket, so Elliot Adamovich letting him know. Our crew tonight, Tony Carter, Cody Thomas, and as Tony said, Elliot Adamovich on the game as well tonight. 3.44 left in regulation. Schwartzfeger, a little ball fake, bounces back to Rod. Rodney working right of the lane, almost lost the handle, regains. Back to Schwartzfeger again, and now Rodney. Rodney on the right side, trying to come inside, got fouled. Be a double bonus the rest of the way for the Mustangs. Let's step aside for a quick 30. 59, 38 Mustangs back in 30 here in the CR Parada Group High School Sports Night. Well. On the go, no time to stop. That's when you'll love Peach and Pharmacy's curbside pickup at Peach and Market in downtown Connellsville. Next time you have a prescription to get, let Peach and Pharmacy make it easy for you. Call ahead at 724-626-9600 or send a message. Let friendly curbside pickup keep you right where you want to be, in the driver's seat. Peach and Pharmacy, your local pharmacy. So Ronnie Gallagher at the foul line made the first. He has 17 points in this game and makes the second as well. So an 18-point game for Rodney Gallagher. Mustangs up 61 to 38. And Blaze Krisner and Mason Bullish back in on the Laurel Highlands side. <laughs> Laurel Highlands being led so far with Keandre to Shields and 25 points. And you're probably going to see a little more of the Mustang bench get in here. You'd expect that with a lead of 23. Wetzel, hard pass down low. Leaner missed there from Mondock. Keandre out of the pack with it there for Laurel Highlands. Keandre just dribbling up top. Watched there by Wetzel. A 3.09 to play. Switches back here with plays Krisner. Krisner a little seam there. We'll take it, but missed a shot attempt on the drive. Tash going for the rebound, trying to keep it alive, and does so. Off to Max Butler, spins off a defender and sends it forward down on the baseline to Wetzel who drives, put it high off the glass and in John Wetzel. All five of his points coming here in the fourth quarter. Wildcats backed within 21 of the Mustangs at 61 to 40. 242 left here in the fourth. Yeah, and you got to kind of wonder with Wetzel, you know, picked up those early fouls if he'd have played the whole game. Oh, you put a miss on the attempted slam there as Rodney set up Keandre. He couldn't send it down. Here's Wetzel back on the other side. He'll get fouled. No head of the free throw line to shoot two. 61-40 Mustangs will step aside for another quick 30 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Keep your legal needs close to home. Attorney Vincent T. Berry specializes in criminal justice, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. Attorney T. Berry is located at 84 East Main Street across the street from the Fayette County Courthouse in Uniontown. When you need to consult an attorney, make your first call to Attorney Vince T. Berry. It will be the only call you need to make. Call 724-430-0300. That's 724-430-0300. 
John Wetzel at the free throw line for Greater Latrobe missed the first of two. And now some wholesale substitutions. John Stenger in on the Laurel Highland side along with Shane Layton and Ethan Koff are also checking in. Second of two free throws. No good there from Wetzel as he misses both of them. Stenger the rebound. Off on the far side to Bullish. Landon Butler in his face. Bullish able to get it across. Koffler down to Layton. Had it poked away. Ball loose. Scrum is on. Wildcats keep it alive. Here Max Butler bringing it back across on the near side. Max Butler driving. And they're going to call a charge there on the drive by Max Butler. No basket. No basket. That'll be the fourth person on Max Butler. That's wow. another bang, bang play. Thought they were going to give him the end one. Yeah. Good job by Mason Bullish to stand in there and take the charge. And Landon Butler knocking down the attempted home run ball there for Mason Bullish. State Mustang basketball will send it in here from their own zone. Now Bullish to try to send it back in. Does so now to Blaze Krisner on the far side. Blaze double team goes cross court near side to Layton and across. Touched up to Koffler. Back to Layton. To his left to Bullish. Fires the three and hits it. Mason Bullish now with five. His first point since the opening quarter and the Mustang lead at 24 at 64 to 40 by Landon Butler answers back with a three of his own on the other side from the far wing in the Laurel Highland zone he's knocked down four threes tonight and it's 64 43 Mustangs lead at 21 with 140 to play bullish again loads up this time for the far side and knocks down another three should be 67 43 so much scoring they can't keep up on the <laughs> scoreboard right now missed there from Wetzel, and the putback also no good from Kozic, and Bullish trying to go three for three. It's another one. So Mason Bullish reigning in threes. He's hit three here in the fourth quarter and has 11 points for the game. It's 70-43. to 43. Again, 70-43. to 43. Scoreboard you're seeing is wrong right now. We're tied into the scores table. Another miss from Greater Latrobe. Foul called here at mid Actually, timeout. Coach Hogger will take a timeout as well. Minute to play, 70-43 to 43 Mustangs. We're back at 60 here on the Seahawk Brown Group High School Sports Night. Pizza, beer, atmosphere, it's all at Mom Maruca's Pizza, located on Barton Mill Road in Uniontown. Mom Maruca's is your prime spot to enjoy local high school sports. Family owned and operated, the Sampson family carries on the tradition of homemade pizza, salads, wings, and the best Italian hoagie and homemade bruschetta in town. Mom Maruca's is open Monday through Saturday from 4 to 10 for indoor and outdoor dining and takeout. Don't forget Mom's catering services for your next party or gathering. Call 724-438-9066 or visit MomMarucaPizza.com for their menu and live music schedule. Looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle? Look no more. With over 200 vehicles, Gary's Auto Sales is the largest used car dealer in the area. Whether you need a truck, car, or SUV, you'll find it at Gary's Auto Sales. Browse the website at garysautosales.com or call 724-626-8080. Gary's Auto Sales, in business since 1974 with the motto, Many Miles, Many Smiles. It's on Route 119 between Uniontown and Connellsville, Gary's Auto Sales, a proud sponsor of Laurel Highlands Mustangs Basketball. Back here at Laurel Highlands High School again. It's 70-43. to 43. The scoreboard is wrong. For whatever reason, Tony, have not corrected it down. Yeah. Here's Stenger near his side through behind. Luka Suchovitz and out of bounds. And Greater Latrobe will get it back. Yeah, so now you have Suchovitz, Ringer, Bryant, Stenger, and Pratt in the game for the Mustangs. Drew Kozic. They sent it around the arc to Brady Prohovic as both teams have gone to their bench here late. And a foul called on the attempted jumper from Dante Bassiano on the near side. And the, the funny thing is they're running the clock thinking it's a 30-point game, and it's not. It's a 27-point lead for the Mustangs at 70-43. to 43. Yeah, I think at this point, I don't, no, I not going to make, make much difference. No, I know. It's just... I got you. First of two free throws, no good there from Bassiano. Nope, I got you. Now the second of two free throws banked in that time for Bassiano, his first point of the game. It's 70 to 44, 18 seconds left. Again, the scoreboard is wrong. Such of it's out of his own zone. Brings it back across, touches off to Jaden Ringer. Now they got it corrected. Ringer from the far wing and in on the drive, floats it up, a miss. And down low, rebound pulled down there by Ian DeServe. They'll bring it across, bounce it forward. Stenger with the steal, and that'll do it. 70-44, to 44, your final score. Laurel Highlands over Greater Latrobe. Mustangs bounce back with a win tonight after the loss on Tuesday. 
They improved to 12 and 2 overall. Great old drops, drops to 5 and 9. We're back to tell you all about it on our post game show brought to you by South Union Township Supervisor Rick Vernon. Comes your way next year on WMBS, the Turn Live High School Sports Network, and Facebook Live. Helping you help others. WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital is holding a health care hiring event Thursday, February 9th from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the hospital and community room number two. If you are interested in working for WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital, this event is for you. The hospital is looking for imaging health care professionals, radiology, computer tomography, and general laboratory employees. The event will feature on-site interviews, facility tours, a question and answer session with staff, and refreshments and snacks will be provided. This is also a great opportunity to learn all about the benefits of working at WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital, including employee-dependent tuition benefits to West Virginia University. Register today. Email Mandy, the Director of Diagnostic Imaging at the hospital, at mandy.konetsko at wvumedicine.org or phone 724-430-5333. That's the Helping You Help Others WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital Healthcare Hiring Event Thursday, February 9th from 3 to 7 at the hospital in community room number 2. Don't miss it. When you are looking to make some extra cash for your aluminum can, visit Cherokee Recycling, where aluminum can is king. Cherokee Recycling is open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and Saturdays, 8 to 12 noon, closed Sundays and holidays. Give Marcus or Rags a call today at 724-439-3228 for Cherokee Recycling, where recycling makes the most sense. The Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood is a veterans organization located in Fayette County since 1950. They are proud to advertise on WMBS sports programs and to contribute to the Veterans Hospital, local sports teams, and scouting organizations. Best of luck to all of our local teams from the Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood. Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer litigated over 275 civil and criminal trials, some of which have been aired on Oprah, Inside Edition, and ESPN. Having an engineering degree, master's in business administration, and law degree qualifies him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. His firm concentrates in wills, trusts, estates, property transfers, personal injury, solar field and Marcellus gas negotiations, and family law. Small enough to care and smart enough to win. Phone 724-425-1162 or email Tommy Schaefer at Hotmail.com. Ready to update your home? Find what you need at Zen's Construction Warehouse. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff will be happy to help you the old-fashioned way. They'll answer your questions and get you started on your next home project. Conveniently located at 485 Walnut Hill Road in Continental, Zen's open Monday through Friday from 9 to 5.30, Saturday and Sunday 10 to 2. For more information, call 724-366-8274 or visit Zen's Construction Warehouse's Facebook page. Zen's Construction Warehouse, their surplus is yours. Going on now, you have to Chevrolet. Get a new 2023 Chevy Equinox for only $99 per month. Stop in for a test drive or visit charperchevy.com. Amadar Transit, locally owned and operated by the Scott family, have been helping students travel to school in the Fayette County area for more than three years. MNR Transit is a proud sponsor of the Laurel Highland School basketball team and wishes all the area teams good luck. For more information, call 724-439-3164. That's 724-439-3164. Or stop into their office at m and Transit, 253 South Mount Vernon Avenue. Back here at Laurel Highland High School, Mustangs win it 70 to 44. Post game show being brought to you by South Union Township Supervisor Rick Fernan. Tony has your final stats. They're brought to you by First Federal Savings Loan Association of Green County. All right, for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, who improved to 12 and two overall, four and one in Section 3 4A play. They were led tonight by Keandre DeShields, who had 25 points. All of those coming in the first three quarters, 14 in the third quarter. Rod Gallagher had 18. Mason Bullish. With three made threes in that fourth quarter, ended up with 11. Six points by Ethan Koffler on two made threes. Patrick Cavanaugh had six points. And two points by Nate Schwartzfeger and Shane Layton off the bench. Mustangs 18 in the first, 14 in the second, 18 in the third, 20 in the fourth for their total of 70. 
They were 21 for 24 from the foul line here Very tonight. Very impressive. Extremely good foul shooting. And Especially they had, after struggling a bit at the foul line on Tuesday against Union Town. Yeah, exactly right. And, yeah, great foul shooting here tonight. And they had seven made threes, two of those by DeShields, three by Bullish, and two by Ethan Koffler. Four, the greater little Trobe Wildcats who dropped a five and nine overall. They were led by Landon Butler who had 17. He had four made threes here tonight. Eight points by Alex Tash. Five by Jatuan Williams before he fouled out. Five points by John Wetzel all coming in the fourth quarter. Three points by Jack Dorinovich on a made three in the first quarter. Two points by Tyler Mondock. Three points by Max Butler. And one point by Dante Bassiano coming off the bench. Ten in the first, 15 in the second, nine in the third, ten in the fourth for their total of 44 Nine for 17 from the foul line. And they had seven made threes. Four of those by Landon Butler, one by Wetzel, one by Williams, and one by Dorinovich. Tony, who do you like for a player of the game? Brock, you by Fayette County Commissioner Vince Facides. Well, you got to give it. I mean, Keandre's got to be, he's got to be your guy. I mean, he had a great game, especially 25 and only three quarters of play. So really carried the Mustangs here tonight. Now Keandre to Shields, our player of the game, brought to you by Fayette County Commissioner Vince Facides. For folks on the TV side, that'll do it. We'll see you Tuesday for La Trobe. Check that for Laurel Highlands taking on Norwin. Also, we'll have a Facebook Live exclusive of the Uniontown Albert Gallatin game. We're back with one final word on the radio side right after this. Again, your final score, Laurel Highlands 70 and Greater La Trobe 44.